this is the first this is the first uh, time you brought these out or this is for this design yeah, yeah. we had um, been working on the sales for two or three years wow okay well let's roll right into it okay uh, it's Mike Lennon and Tim Penfold all right back here we are at the uh, at the Puma Moth World's Anarchy Report day three just sort of sitting inside it's 12 they've already put the AP up so we'll probably have another half hour delay but I'm here with Tim Penfold and Mike Lennon uh, riding with the uh, with the hide sails, a big H on the, on the sails, and two Brits. And in fact, this guy, I'm apparently going to be uh, at my brother-in-law's bachelor party or stag do in, in a few weeks in uh, in Tarifa. How are you, Tim? Good to see you. I'm oh, very good, thanks. Right good on. to see you, Mike. You're doing great out there. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah. Talk to us. Moving a little bit. Talk to us a little bit about um, uh, about these hide sails. We have now four sail makers here in the fleet, which I think is very healthy. Um, what is your philosophy? What have you guys done with these sails, and how are you going so well? Um, well, we've been working on the sales for sort of two, three years, and uh, we've been through a whole sort of development phase with flatter sales, fuller sales, and so on. And the fuller sale, we've ended up with a fuller headed sale compared to looking around at the other sale makers. Um, and it just seemed to suit where we are at Hailing Island, the type of conditions we get. And um, whenever I tried to mimic the, the you know the KAs and so on it just didn't feel as good to me so I've stayed in, in on that sort of line of development gone from slightly more flexible rig uh, and really powerful downhaul and kicker to so I can flatten, up, flatten it off in a breeze. And, and Tim uh, you know you're not up there in, in second place like Mike but how do they feel to you? No the cell feels really good it feels powerful um, the thing I like about it is you, you feel like you've got more range on the controls so both the Cunningham and the kicker or the Vang, um, you feel like you can really see the difference it's making to the sail. And yesterday, um, it took me two races to, to understand how much Vang I should be using. And when I started to pull a bit more on, I really felt like I was going really well. So fingers crossed for today. Let's talk about, about your fleet back home. I was at Hailing Island last year, and uh, what a place. I was sort of astonished you're walking through rows and rows of I-14s, rows and rows of 5-0s, and then all these moths. Um, how many boats are there? How's the fleet going? Is, this, is, it, is it, I mean, this, it's one of the strongest, I think, out there. Yeah, I, I mean, the fleet at Hailing, the moth fleet at Hailing is really growing. Um, we're one of the only fleets down there who are sailing the whole year round. We've been out training through the winter, um, you know, sometimes getting 10, 12 boats out during the winter, which is pretty amazing. Um, visitors coming in to join in as well. So I think this summer we should be 10 to 15 boats out regularly. So it's, it's probably the biggest fleet in the UK now. Is it catching on anywhere else in the UK? There are fleets growing. Um, there's a new fleet growing on the east, east coast of England, just outside London, a place called Thorpe Bay. There's a little fleet growing there. Stokes Bay, who is, which is near to Hailing Island, has, has got four or five boats now. There's a little group down in the, in the southwest, uh, Axbridge. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there are pockets of growth all over the country. There's a few in Scotland as well. It's a bit far away to, to mix with those guys regularly, but there, there is a small pocket up there as well. So, Is it, I mean, in, in, in certain areas, it just seems like the moth is igniting something in people that they haven't seen, you know, really much in, in a long time. Now, Britain obviously has very a very successful and strong dinghy fleet in general, but do you see that, that sort of excitement going in Britain as well? Absolutely. I mean, that's why I started sailing the boats. Um, you know, we had Cy Payne, one of the first guys in the UK foiling down at our local club, yeah. and I was just watching him going, wow, I've got to have a go at that. And um, I think that's what a lot of people are thinking. It's like, well, why not have, give it a go? Yeah. And it is, it's great fun. All right, well, Mike, uh, great job out there. Tim will be watching you now that you got your Vang figured out. And, uh, uh, you know, just you know, keep, don't, don't get hurt too bad because we have some, some kiteboarding to do in a few weeks, and yeah, it'll be yeah. a good, good show. Guys, yeah. thank you. Appreciate thank you. it. Cheers, yeah. thanks. Um, has anyone been telling you they've been watching it back home? Yeah, yeah, there's loads of people watching it. Good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right.